Hello again everyone YouTube land. This is the third of four special top 10 lists for the 2010s. First was top 10 favorite fighting games. Then top 10 favorite RPGs. This is the third. Top 10 favorite films of the decade. And this is all genres. Next will be the last of the 2010 lists. Top 10 favorite video games of all genres of course. So I chose, even though this music is from a TV show, I chose Lord of the Rings music, I mean not Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones music, to go with this list. So, honorable mentions first. And I try to keep uh, comic book films to a minimal, as best as possible. Honorable mentions, X-Men Days of Future Past, The Amazing Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse, Doctor Strange, Split, Glass, Sinister, Chapter 1 of the remake of Stephen King's It, Skyfall, Creed, Prometheus, Alien Covenant, Oz the Great and Powerful, Inside Out, Fighting with My Family. Let's get to it. Coming in at number 10, released in 2014, it is an indie science fiction film, a superb, highly underrated, criminally underrated film I highly recommend, starting in one of the main roles, of course, uh, Poe, not Poe, but uh, the guy who plays Poe Dameron, Oscar Isaac, in a great performance. Um, coming at number 10 is Ex Machina, based on, of course, the graphic novel with the same title. Coming in at number 9 is about the only anime movie that made the cut for this list. And coming at number 9, this movie was released in 2014. It helped the resurrection of my all-time favorite anime franchise, the Dragon Ball Universe. Coming at number 9... Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods, when we would be first introduced to Whis, and of course, Lord Beerus. Coming in at number 8, released in 2016, a great stop motion type film, though use more CG with it, still stop motion, a great criminally also underrated film in my opinion. And I can't praise this movie enough. And that is coming in number eight, Kubo and the Two Strings. Coming in at number seven is the first of about four ties that I couldn't end up choosing. Number seven is a tie between two comic book films, my all time, easily two favorite films from the 20th Century Fox X Men universe. Tied at number 7, first released in 2011, X-Men First Class. Tied with it, released in 2017, Logan, which is a superb modern western type style film. It just so happens to take place in a comic book universe. Coming in at number 6, released in 2011, my Easily my favorite horror film of the decade. The first of four films in the franchise so far, created by James Wan. Coming at number six, Insidious. Coming in at number five, first of the two, released in 2014, and yes, this made it to tie at number five favorite for the decade. Surprise, surprise. And its sequel was, I believe, like my number six favorite movie of this year. Uh, coming in at number five, Tide, released in 2014 from Disney, Just Let It Go. Coming in at number tie at five, Frozen. Tied with it, released by Pixar Studios in 2018, a superb, greatly researched film 
love the art style, the colors, the music. It's all vibrant, and the ending of the film will definitely make you crack a tear no matter what. Unless you're stone cold hearted. Uh, tied at five is Coco. Coming in at number four is another tie between two Disney owned properties. The first of the two, released in 2010, I feel has become definitely an underrated sci fi type film. A great sequel, in my opinion, really leaps and bounds. I think the best. 3D experience I had in theirs of a 3D film. Tied at number four is Tron Legacy. Tied with it is easily, in my opinion, the best of the Disney era of Star Wars. Tied at number four, released in 2016, the first of the standalone films. Star War, or rather, a Star Wars story, Rogue One. Coming in at number three is another tie between an indie film and a indie style film that came out this year and ended up my number one favorite movie of this year is tied for being my third favorite film of the decade. First of the two films, it shouldn't be no surprise, Joker is tied for number three spot for the decade and easily my favorite film of the year. It is tied with the film about uh, Crockett, which created what we know today as the McDonald's Corporation. It's a fascinating film starring Michael Keaton, the founder. So, yeah, number three slot ended up a tie between the founder and Joker. Coming in, number two is a trilogy. I'm very biased. My favorite movie of all time is Lord of the Rings and, of course, my favorite of the 2000s. And its prequel trilogy, even though I felt the um, the second film was a little dull and the third film was still a little boring, the first film is incredible of the trilogy. Coming at number two spot is the Hobbit trilogy. Coming in at number one, favorite film of the decade, released in 2014 to be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Number one, I have seen 21 times, now four times in theater. Number one goes to Guardians of the Galaxy, which I love this film to death. It's getting a place where soon I'll be able to quote the entire movie word for word. I just love the film. I love Star-Lord. It's just a lot of fun, honestly. The film always puts me in a good mood when I watch it, and now that's part of Disney+. Plus. I might review the film sometime in the future to be part of the Disney Plus review series. But anyways, I'll see y'all next time. And have a happy holidays. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel. And stay tuned for my review of The Muppet Christmas Carol.